Okay, it is now Friday. We started this review on Monday, but we haven't had a clear night sky to let it try to do the sky align. But we've got some good stars tonight. Nice, cold, clear night. Okay, we're going to plug in the battery pack. We figured out we had a problem with this before. It was kind of jiggled loose, and that's why we didn't get the, um, the remotes. That should be fine. To get the remote to turn red when we um, turn it on. Because that's what it needs to do, is it needs to turn red. Can I please just switch it on? And then we also found out there's a switch on here. You need to turn the switch on. Yep, there you go. And it's turning orangey red. Okay, verifying packages. <coughs> and it's ready. Now hold on. We've got to take the lens off the lens cover off the camera. Might as well get the one off the telescope here. I'll take it. Thank you. And so it says it's ready, aligned to select. No, we don't need to. Is it pointing up high enough? I think. Hold on. <coughs> Let me, uh, excuse me. I think I'm going to use the uh, controls here. Whoops, wrong way. Push it up. And get it up in the sky. All right, now we're ready to... Um, Press options plus alt. So we're just going to press the line. Here we go. And stay back because we can't get any light in the camera when it does its thing. So it did a little movement. Presumably it's taking its first picture. And on the screen, it's showing Star Sense auto acquiring position and it gives me a set of numbers. I don't know if it's sky or earth, longitude and latitude. We just moved to a second position. It's doing its thing. 30%. Let's try this without this light. We can leave that. Now it is going straight up. Without the light, we can't see that. Solved. The line three. <coughs> we'll turn the light back on from here. And I don't know what it's looking for. And now it says solved. I didn't keep track of how many minutes this has been. It's supposed to be able to do this in three minutes. And it's rotating again. Sensing. 65%. Acquired 100. Stars, solving, solved, Align, okay, enter to continue, alignment complete, enter to continue, press enter please. Says it's ready. So at this point, I think we can choose one of the buttons here, like solar system, Jupiter, and then we'll press enter, and it's going to find us Jupiter. Let's see if it can do it. Well, it's not over there in the sky. Jupiter's over behind us. So let's see if it knows to go all the way around. Yeah, it's still rotating. It seems to have done more than 180 degrees of rotation. Actually, probably 270 from where I originally pointed it and told it to align. It really went quite a ways around. Now, at this point, based on where it thinks it is... All right, we had to go through the alignment process again as somebody bumped into the tripod before we got a chance to check it out. This time, it did find Jupiter. It was right on the bottom edge of the lens. I'm going to see if I can capture it here or not. This is with the low power, low power lens on the telescope. Well, it's in there somewhere. Yeah, there you go with the moons. You can see it. So it did work. It did find it. You, I can hear a little ticking, and that's the sound of the uh, 
the drive that keeps it um, keeps it on the object. And um, since it was off by a little bit, I did um, I did put it manual. Well, I used the uh, remote control and I moved it up and down a little to get the um, to get it right on Jupiter, and then. Okay, yeah, there it is. Anyway, I was able to use the um, up, down, right, left on the remote control to center it, and it continued to uh, follow it. So doing that didn't throw it off. So actually, it did work correctly. It seemed like it took a little more than three minutes, but um, a lot of light pollution here, and there's a tree. I didn't realize it was going to go all the way around and actually try to look for stars at the point where the tree was. But it appears to work pretty well. We'll try some, some galactic objects next and see how it turns out.